Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City today. We're going to be doing the inside of the arcade that we built last episode. I'm quite excited about this because it's going to be quite the challenge. The walls are going to be fine to work as an internal wall. We've already put a nice red carpet down. I think if we stick... Why is there a gap there? Oh, really? Oh, really? I didn't even think of that. All right, we'll do that then. Leave it there and here. So, if we put a ceiling down first, that'll give us a good height. And then, basically, we can just make up our own machines and stuff. It's not going to be easy because of the scale that we're working on here in our city. We don't have... I think there's probably going to be a good height. I don't know where I said. I think it was there. Uh, re what do I want to replace it with? Uh, 48, maybe. Replace air with 48. There we go. I think that's a good height. Yeah, because we're working on a sort of player-sized scale... We don't have much to, like, oops, um, build arcade machines with because they're so, they're so fiddly little machines, aren't they? I think there's a few ways that we can build some, though, simply, and then maybe we can ex try and experiment and build some more advanced-looking ones. So let's just try a normal arcade machine here. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go and grab some clay or, you know, some bright colours. Uh, let's do two at a time. We'll build a green one as well and this is the simplest sort of arcade machine that i can think of so we do something like that we get a nice painting or an item frame and then we get a button as a controller and then we get a sign just a normal sign will do so there's a completely sort of vanilla uh, arcade machine it works it looks great especially if you put multiples of them next to each other let's get one more uh, let's do like a pink one. I think a pink one would look nice there. I'll go with the other colours. Sign, painting, button. Okay, super simple, super easy to do. I think it works really well. We can then go a little bit more complicated, if you like. We can try and build some more advanced looking ones um, using stairs and stuff. So we can go, let's grab a, a white one. Let's do a black one as well, because why not? And then we'll grab the full block variants of those. So that one and quartz. Uh, should we get some lights down in here as well? How do we want to do the lights? Um, I think I probably want to go with just normal beacons in here would be nice. And then we'll sort of just put them on the roof. Yeah, maybe we'll just put them on the roof. Just so we can see in here. Don't you dare try and not place down. So we go there. Oh, it's the texture of the block. I was like, what are those pixels that I can see? Yeah. Why does it try and go down and then not? Middle. Middle. Yeah, it's probably bright enough for us. That'd be fine. Uh, so if we go with like a full block and a full block, we'll build them both at the same time again. And then go with a full block. Full block. And then we go with a stair. Upside, yeah, yeah, a stair like that. We then get, although it hangs over, well, a little bit less. We get a little bit more of a design here. It looks a little bit more featureful, uh, you know, when you're sort of looking at it. This is quite cool. This is like a two-player game, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, it'd be a really boring arcade machine, but like a chess game where you control the white pieces and he controls the black pieces. <laughs> what a boring game that would be in an arcade. All right, and then we can try the item frame method here because my item frames obviously I took the texture out of the middle so it doesn't exist um, which means whatever we put in here is sort of visible the whole time uh, and now what I would do if it wasn't a black machine is I think it would look quite cool to have a little black square in there as the screen uh, but as soon as the other one's black there that isn't going to quite work enough uh, what about a map Like a Grand Theft Auto 1 style game. Oh, look, that the map doesn't... T I never knew that. That the maps in your hands don't take the texture pack into consideration. Interesting, because obviously these are the li the white lines on the road, but they don't, they don't have the texture on. I never knew that. I never knew that. Interesting. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then we can try a different sort of front here. Instead of a button, we put the lever on. So it's a different kind of arcade machine there. I think they work, both work actually quite well. 
Um, and then we can... Uh, what, what's another one? Claw machine. Now, a claw machine is going to be a bit more difficult. We'll have to grab some glass for this, won't we? And some sort of block to go on the bottom. I think a blue would be nice. Uh, and these, we'll have them down here. Let's have three of them. They usually have a few of them next to each other. And then we need something to go on top. We can either use a nice blue carpet. I think sort of caps them off nicely. Or daylight sensor could work. Or just a normal slab. Daylight sensor has a nice texture on it. So I think that could probably work uh, really nice. And then definitely a lever for these. We'll put the levers on the front. It's a little grab machine. But we can't do anything like grabby in there. Not unless we go way out of size. Because that's about right, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That's about the size of a claw machine. But we can't get too much more detail in there. Uh, what's another one that they always have? Uh, they always have a dance machine. Let's do a dance machine over here. You know, one of these. Hoo, hoo, here, left, right, up, down. Uh, Japanese are really um, good at them. Uh, he's, all, all the best players are, are Japanese for that. And uh, how are we going to do that? We're going to have to use carpet. I wonder if we used the little road marking carpets as... See, that could be pretty cool. Yeah? Do, 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 do. Um... And then we have, well, it usually has, like, um, fence. And I would really like something like, maybe we just use a block. Uh, what sort of grey block? Cyan. That could do. It's just a... That's what they hold on to, isn't it? Or there's, like, a barrier at the back, usually. And then we have the machine at the front. It's not very colourful, is it? Let's, let's make a better colour out of that. Wool. Yellow. Yeah. Bit, a bit more brighter. And then this is going to be where the screen is. If I do that. What if we put like a black stained glass in there? Doesn't really work that well. I don't like it. I'd rather it be a 2 by 3 black uh, screen. Like that. And then uh, daylight sensor. We said that these work well to go on top of stuff. Like that. So there's your dance machine and it comes down. I think that's pretty cool. I'm leaving this <clears throat> leaving this middle spot open for like the tickets and the prizes. So I'm sort of trying to build around the walls first. I don't know, mind moving the mover slightly to get some more in. Uh, what else do we have? There's usually a gun shooting one. Isn't there? There's a gun shooting one where you sort of stand back a little bit. And uh, it's like, they never really work that well, do they? But uh, we'll, we'll try and build one. Uh, it looks like these are the bigger machines over here. So let's get another wool. I'm going with wool instead of clay on this side, just so they it looks different, but they sort of blend in together. So we'll go with another screen like that. Uh, but instead of having the dance mat in the middle, we want to have some sort of don't go closer than this. Well, they, they're not usually that far away, are they? You sort of stand about here. So let's... Um... That's about right, isn't it? And then how do we do the gun? Like I could put a lever on there. And then that's what you use for the gun. Or we could go a little bit more advanced. And we could put in, like, I don't know, yeah, Dragonoff or something in there. See, we can do that because we've got these sort of guns. But I think that works quite well. Uh, you know, you can imagine that's what the gun is that you use. And then, I don't know, item frames. Just try and decorate them up a little bit. Ooh, no, I don't want to do that. I just broke, the, I, I shot the block off. Have I got, I ain't got sound. Oh, did I stop the sound the other episode ago? Music and sound. Why is it working again now? I swear it wasn't working a minute ago. Um, guns, guns, guns. I just want something cool to go in there. Or like a plane or heli, yeah, helicopters would work well. Or yeah, like this. And then have, oh, it doesn't, 
I wanted it to actually look like what it does in my hand. But it actually just makes like a little mini model. That's weird, isn't it? I want a tank facing the other way. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a helicopter facing the other way? Oh, it's so low down. That would have been perfect. If Chinook... Yeah, that works. Yeah, like a little war game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. Uh, so that, that's that one. Uh, what else do they have? They usually have a little bike simulator. A racing simulator with a bike that you lean over. Or a car one. Um, what would be easier? I think a bike one would be cool. But are we really going to be able to build it all that well? A car one would be definitely easier. Alright, let's get some more wool. Uh, let's go. I don't want to go with red, obviously. Let's go with turquoise. Or cyan. It's turquoise. Uh, let's build it like that. And then the screen. It's a big screen again on these ones. And then we want to have uh, some sort of seating arrangement. In here. Uh, stairs. Like that. I'm going to take that away and make a bit more of a dashboard or something. I don't want to use that. Maybe you'll use black. You don't have much options with stairs and stuff, do you, with colours? Um, in the middle here, if I change it out to that, you won't know the difference. And we can put a lever in the middle as like a little false handbrake. You don't usually have two seats in these, but I think it's quite cool to use up the space that we've got. I don't like that. I definitely like the um, slab look on top. And then we want a steering wheel. Now, we drive on the right, so I'm going to put the steering wheel on the right. Uh, but it's going to annoy a lot of you guys that have steering wheels on the other side. Oh, can I not put it there? I might have to do it like that then. And have like a center console there instead. Uh, maybe just a slab. Yeah, instead of a stair. Yeah, that works. Uh, music disc always works well as a steering wheel. Old school look. Uh, oh, no, we could do it on both sides, couldn't we? They do have two player ones, and they both drive, and they, they race each other. Yeah! Okay, we'll go with that. So it's a racing one. Um, let's just try... I want to try an experimental one. Now, I don't know how well it'll work, right? Um, oh, that's if we have it, though. Uh, armor stands. I don't have armor stands. I was thinking about maybe, like, forcing an armor stand into a block. Um, but uh, we don't have armor stands in this version of Minecraft. I don't think there's anything... That's big, that could work like that. That's sort of transparent. I wonder if something like that would work. Like, I wonder if this works like an item stand does. They're two blocks high, right? Yeah. Let's just try an experiment. If we do that, we then get a block. Like, any block will do. I've got a block on me. A piston. And a lever. Just, just to try. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, it didn't push through. With armor stands, you could sort of force an item into an armor stand. I was wondering if they had the same sort of property. Um, a banner? Uh, banners are quite cool, but I don't use them enough. Oh, got rid of the lever. Nope. What else have we got that could work? I want something that's more than one block high, but the hitbox isn't on the top half. And that's the trick with it. I don't think I've got anything. I think everything that I've got is sort of been made in a way that it doesn't allow that kind of thing. I'll tell you what, these could work well. I don't want a diagonal one. Um, post. Oh, they. Oh no, no, they do face that way. That's pretty cool, right? I can't get near it though. That's the problem. Ah, it sucks. That yeah, was worth a try. Okay, get rid of that. Um, 
what else do they have oh they usually have a like a machine in the middle and you have to like push a button at the right time it's like a sort of center machine rather than one that goes up against a wall um let's go with clay again what color haven't we used i used like a bluey purple it's too dark here oh what does it place down if it isn't actually close enough and it's quite fortunate that we've got like the middle points for it. They're none of them are off center so it's usually a bigger machine like that uh with a different color in the middle and then glass like that why does glass not make a sound when I place it down? Did it ever? Does it ever do that? I'm sure I'm getting some weird stuff today. Um, and then let's try, because we haven't used them yet, we'll use tripwire hooks and levers. Tripwire hooks can be down on the bottom here as little sort of coin inserts or something. And then we'll have levers around the side there. There we go. It looks like that does something now as well in the middle, though, doesn't it? Uh, carpet. No, I don't want anything on top. It's one of these ones that you can like see down into horse racing one or something like that they sometimes have all right so now we want a display of pro <gasps> no there is another one that they always have at an arcade oh, i'm running out of space so quickly um i'm sure i can get one in here so they always have a uh whack-a-mole isn't it a whack-a-mole style one uh green hang on this could be amazing uh like that and they usually have some lights on there do they they just do it like that and then slab or some sort of color to go with it and then oh uh, how are we gonna do this because i'm thinking about using a creeper head right is what you hit so these would be what poke up And you go, bunk, bunk, and that would go down, and then it would come up there, and then down and come up there. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, unless we... You know, it's... Oh, they don't have gravity, that's the problem. Do they work with a piston? I can't place them, I can't place them on a piston. I thought maybe like we could get them to move up and down with a piston on the side. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do it just how I done it, like a static style one. It's such a shame that it doesn't like work how we'd want it to. Let's do a black button and some tripwire hooks. Oh no, uh, what about um, what do they call them? Um, trap doors. That's it. No, that that trap. Oops, that trap door. Just makes a little bit more meaty, doesn't it? I like that. I think that's cool. Um, item frame with a score counter. How can we do a score counter? Just something rectangular would be good. Something that sits upright as opposed to um, lengthways. Stick a sandwich in it. <laughs> or fish. Um, could just put a creeper head in there. I mean that sort of works. Can I put one? Oh, why do I always get rid of the? Why do I always get rid of the block that I need? I mean that sort of works as well, doesn't that? Makes it a little bit more creepy. Okay, desk in the middle here. We haven't got too much room now. Um, I need a block at the back, which is going to have like shelves above it. So let's go with, I don't know what color. What color have we got left? Clay. This one. It's a nice neutral block. So I need that at the back, and then we need a way that I can get in. I'm going to get in from that side because that sounds a little bit tight. So this is how the person gets in to serve. Um, <coughs> we're going to want a till, aren't we, where you can... Uh, <laughs> I typed till in. Do I have cash register? No. Um, stair then. 
where you can get your some coins and stuff. Oh yeah, they usually we need a coin machine too, don't we? Like how you, where you can get the your notes for coins. They usually alert a yellow machine near where I am. Stare. Oops, not double. Button. They're usually just nice and simple like that. Sign. And we can go. This is what they're like near me anyway. They just say change on them. And then that's where you collect up all your... Put a note in, get your two P's or whatever. Uh, or dollars. I don't know. Um, and then we want to have that going up there. And there. And along here. And then some shelves. I have shelves, so I'm going to use them. I think they just look a little bit neater to go in there where the prizes are. Uh, I think I could put item frames and some prizes in there. Let's get a carpet to make the top look a little bit more fancy. Oh, what about like a little wooden top? I never thought of that one before. I've seen this that texture about for so long, but I've never actually done anything with it. Already had that trapdoor. Okay, so we can get our stuff from here, um, and then. Item frames. Item frames. I think I can click back there. Yeah, I can. Okay. And then we'll just get some prizes to go in there. So what have we got? Uh, we could we could do a BB gun. Make it look like a little BB gun in there. Uh, what one looks like a little BB gun? Well, binoculars works. Um, I think that looks like a little BB gun. We'll have that one. Okay. Let's just go. No, nothing in there. Um, I don't think anyone would really want a flower. Who would want a flower? Some little heads could work. Heads are always a good, like, Minecraft um, prize. Nothing there. Nothing really there. Uh, maybe some music discs? I mean, it's Minecraft friendly looking, isn't it? Let's go with that. So we have a BB gun. That one. That one. Ugh. Oh, it's so hard to click them in there. Oh, I've turned him round. What a mistake. There you go. Oh, the perfect amount. I didn't even realise. There we go. So we've got some prizes behind the wall as well um be oops no 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 uh, beacon i've already got them here let's go with some different colored beacons just to go up either side just grab some different colors that should do it's more than enough uh we'll go along the top here i need one more one more that i haven't got that one there we go just keep the sort of color going into the inside I think that's pretty cool. I didn't make, ever make a boxing one, you know, with the machine that comes down and you punch it. Um, I don't know how to get, like, a little hanging red thing. I could use a beacon, I suppose, that sort of hangs down. But it would be so big. Let's try it. Let's try it. Um, red clay. So it just stands out a bit against the carpet. Oh, but then it blends into that. What if I build it back here a little bit? So you have to have it right out there. And then have like a fence into the beacon. And that's what you punch. Badoom. Uh, stair. This will be what it like sort of sinks into, like a little rubber stopper so it doesn't like crack it too hard. Item frame. Uh, with a scorer. These have like a little electronic one, don't they? I don't know what I could use as a scorer. Ah, what about like a rail? And like the more powerful you are, the more lights that light up. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then a button. And they always have the buttons for these. Oops. On the tops. Like that. You push the button. I know it's high. Huh, bonk. And uh, then that drops down. Give it a good whack and it goes back up. I think that's pretty cool as a little arcade, right? I think that's pretty smart. Note blocks we'll just use to finish up with some speakers around the room. There and there. Three blocks in, leave three blocks there. That one, leave three blocks that one. And that one, leave three blocks. 
Oh, where does it? Oh, because it's off center, isn't it? Okay, I'll just leave it like that. There you go. So we've got some speakers around the room as well. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.